guys. Um, this is my very first Facebook Live, so be gentle with me. <laughs> um, I'm sure that I will probably be interrupted by either Riley or uh, my cat, so um, be prepared for that. Um, you also may hear some music um, and some chewing noises behind me. Riley is very nervous of the wind, so she is in my bedroom um, with music and a Kong to keep her busy. So um, today is Friday for everyone who's having a hard time keeping track. Um, and that means that it is Fill It Up Friday. I'm doing this one live. We'll see how it goes. I'd like to do these live, but uh, again, this is the first one. I don't know how comfortable I'm going to be doing these. <laughs> so, um, but let's jump in. So I've got all my Kongs here. Um, I've got um, Kong brand as well as some other ones. Um, this is the regular Kong. Um, we've also got the Sumo brand. Um, it does not matter if you have Kong or not. Um, I've also got a little Dingo bell thing, um, some tires, and a bone. So I'm going to stuff these today. And today I'm not going all out with any kind of crazy recipe. I'm just kind of showing you guys how I typically stuff my Kongs. Um, so I've got here some dry dog food, wet dog food. Uh, Riley gets a homemade diet, so you can use just canned food. Sometimes I even use canned food if I'm running low or feel like it. Um, I've also got some peanut butter, some uh, canned pumpkin. Sorry, that lighting is kind of bad. Um, just some regular milk bone treats. But I've also got some uh, broccoli, some frozen broccoli. She loves broccoli. And some cottage cheese that I can top it off. Um, so the way I'm going to build my Kongs, I'm going to start out with the regular Kongs first because they're the cleanest. Um, and so the way I build my Kongs is um, I start from the bottom with the, with the top here. But you might see um, some people will try to fill this bottom hole so that it won't leak fluid out. Um, I really try to keep this open. I want to keep airflow through this. This hole is here for safety reasons. Um, so I want to make sure that I'm not plugging it up. So the first thing that I start with is a little bit of dry dog food. And what this does is it's kind of my um, barrier so that the liquid doesn't come out as quickly through the hole. Um, so I just put in a little bit, might be up to there. Um, then let's go with a little bit of dog food. Now, like I said, Riley loves broccoli, so I like to add just a little broccoli surprise in there for her. Um, I find too, sometimes um, when the broccoli thaws out, it gets a little flimsy and she has a hard time getting it out. So sometimes that will keep her a little extra busy. Um, add just a little bit more dog food. And at the top, I'm gonna to be a little fancy and add a little bit of pumpkin, just to kind of top it off. And I just have these milk bone treats and we're just gonna stuff it in the top. Um, now, when I put my Kongs in the freezer, these are all gonna be frozen. I like to put them in a, um, a little plastic box thing in here so that I can keep it upright. Um, so as I make them, I'm just gonna load them into that. So again, start with the dog food. This is messy. <laughs> Some wet dog food. Again, you guys can use canned dog food. Um, doesn't even have to be anything that you normally feed your dog. Anything that goes in these Kongs should just be things that are safe for your dog. Um, there's nothing really special about it. Um, 
a little broccoli surprise for her. Um, these are actually really great for those of you who are working from home right now and doing virtual meetings. Uh, when you don't want your dog to be interrupting you, um, give them a Kong to enjoy so that they're not going to be looking to um, see what you're up to. This one I'm going to do a little bit of cottage cheese just to top it. This one's a little over full. And another treat. So just for time's sake, I don't think I'm going to stuff every single one of these. Um, but I will show you some of the things that I do with some of these others. So this bell is something that's not really going to hold things very well. So what I do with this, forgot to get a knife. So luckily this is the dog's peanut butter. <laughs> so I can stick this in there. Um, and so all I do is I just smear peanut butter on this one. Get it all inside there and I just freeze it like that and that was just a regular peanut butter Kong for her um, these guys I stuff kind of however I can usually with some dog food um, maybe a little bit of pumpkin maybe throw some treats in there um, but again, just make sure that whatever you're doing is safe for your dog and something that your dog enjoys. Um, that is probably the most important part of it. Um, Riley doesn't really like liver, but I do put it into her dog food. I sneak it into her diet that way. So when I'm stuffing her Kongs, I make sure not to put any big chunks of liver in the Kongs because these are supposed to be something that she enjoys. So, um, so I'm gonna finish stuffing these up um, and getting them ready and we will have a, um, a nice supply for the next uh, few days, maybe a week if we can make it last that long. Um, next week I will show you guys some um, different recipes, uh, not as kind of plain Jane as this one, um, but let me know if you guys use Kongs with your dogs. If you don't have Kongs, um, you can use other things, anything that's safe and stuffable. Some people will use um, like marrow bones and things like that. I don't use those with my dog because she chews them too roughly um, and I want to save her teeth. So, but if your dog um, is okay with those, you can restuff those. Um, again, anything that's safe for your dog uh, to have, um, feel free to stuff them with whatever your dog likes. So, um, I think that's it. I think that's it for this week. Um, I will see you guys on Tuesday. Let me know what you guys want to see for Tricky Tuesday, what you guys want to work on a trick, uh, what you want to work for, work on for a trick. <laughs> see, this is why I don't go live. <laughs> um, and uh, let me know what you guys are interested in seeing on Tuesdays, and I will see you again then. Bye. I guess I have to get up now and shut this off, huh? Ha, 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 ha.